Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Just to continue, inshallah, with where we stopped in our episode of Hadith Arba'in and Nawabiya. So we talked about the first hadith of Umar ibn Khattab, Innama al a'mal bin niyyad, that every intention has to have a niyyah. Brothers and sisters in Islam, an niyyatu fil a'mal ala qismain. Intention in deeds is of two categories. One is an niyyatu lil qasd. The niyyah of seeking reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Al-maqasid. Intention of al-maqasid. Re expecting reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is one of the categories of niyyah in the action. Or the second category is an niyyah li ta'yini wa tamiyiz. The niyyah, the intention of differentiating and categorizing. For example, the niyyah of differentiating and categorizing, a niyyah to the ta'yin or tamiyiz, for example, you have two prayers, dhuhr and asr. You are praying them together, for example, you are in Arafah. We pray two raka'ah for dhuhr and two raka'ah for asr. What is going to differentiate between these two prayers? A niyyah. So because you are intending to pray asr, and then you stand up and intending to pray the word. So this is a near of categorizing. For example, you want to categorize between the two fastings. There is a fasting of, of, of Thursday and Arafah falls on Thursday. You are going to pray to, 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 to fast with one intention, but in reality you have two in, You are going to make one fast with two intention. One fast with two intention. So the intention so that you can benefit with both the fasting of Thursday and the day of Arafah, you are going to put intention for Thursday and the intention for Arafah. This niya is called a niya to tanyiz wa atayin. So one niya to a niya to alati lil maqasid here lil a'mal al ukhrawiya. The niyyah that is for the intention of rewarding from Allah, or reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is the niyyah that it is the issues of the hereafter. And this niyyah is, for example, you want to, um, uh, to be rewarded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and it is the niyyah that the fame and show off is all the time affecting this intention. So it is the niya that riya and sum'a that affects it and all the time you may see someone praying but with the intention of making people happy and in reality he or she may not be making this prayer that uh, expecting or with the intention of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it is very important to teach ourselves the issues of the riya, riya or sum'a, fame and show off. They really affect some of our ibadah, some of our worship, and the niya is very important which can differentiate whether this amal is the amal depending reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or we are making it to make a show of and inshallah ta'ala we are going to indulge a lot in this matter of niya in the next few episodes wa jazakumullah khair wa salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu wa jazakumullah kullal khair